Hello everyone and welcome back to Cheesy Code. Today we are going to learn something in C Sharp. We will be discussing about two operators in C Sharp language and by using these operators you can actually reduce the number of lines that are present in your code. The two operators that we are going to learn about are first one is ternary operator and the second one is null coalesce operator. So let's start off with ternary operator. I'm going to show you a piece of code and then we will learn how we can decrease the number of lines present in the code. So I have created a normal project, a console application, just to show you the code. So in my static main method, I have written some code. Now this integer variable gets a random number between minus 5 to 5. Now below it, I'm just checking whether the number is greater than 0. Then I'm printing greater than 0 onto my console. Otherwise, I'm printing less than 0. Now using ternary operator, I can just shrink this code of 5, 6 line into a single line. So this particular line is equivalent to this particular line of code. So ultimately my line of code is decreased and this statement does exactly the same thing that this if else statement was doing. So now let's understand what exactly this ternary operator is doing. So the meaning of ternary is something that is combined of three parts. So in this statement also you can see that there are three parts. This one, this one and then this one. So basically in layman terms, if I talk about ternary operator, so it has three parts. One is condition that returns a boolean value. Then this condition is separated by a question mark and following it are two parts, which are separated by a colon. So when the condition returns a true value, this part is executed. And in case the condition returns a false value, in that case, this part is executed. So if I have a look at this condition, if the number is greater than 0, then this part would be executed and onto my console greater than 0 would be printed. And if this condition returns false, in that case less than 0 would be printed. So this way we can use ternary operator instead of using the if else part. This way the code looks much cleaner and it is kind of a shorthand for if else condition. You can also use nested ternary operators. Consider this example. In this case, there are two ternary operators that are being used. First one is this and the another one is this. So in this case, this will be the condition. On the basis of this condition, true part and the false part will be executed. And inside the false part, there's another ternary operator in which there's this condition and there's true part and false part. So that's how you can use nested ternary operators. This is similar to the case of if else, in which we can use if else inside this else part also. You can use as many as ternary operators, but remember you need to keep these brackets in case of nested ternary operators just to make sure that the true part and false part are properly segregated. Now the other operator that I want to talk about is null coalesce operator. So to understand this, consider this example. Now suppose a value is coming to this number variable from some function or somewhere else and we need to assign that value to number 2. But before assigning it, we need to check whether the value is null or not. If it is null, then we are assigning number 2 with 0 value. Otherwise, we are assigning the value of number 1 to number 2. So this scenario usually occurs if we have a class and we have a string variable and we are not getting any value in it. In that case, we usually check for null before using it. So that's a similar kind of scenario. Now using null coalesce operator, we can just reduce this particular piece of code into a single line. So let me show you how. This particular line of code is equivalent to these many lines of code. So if I comment this, now here this double question mark is null coalesce operator. So it has two parts, the left part and the right part. In left part it checks whether it is null or not. In case it is null, in that case it assigns the right part. And in case it is not null, in that case it assigns the left part to this particular variable. So ultimately we have saved these many lines of code just by using a single line. These two operators are very common in programming languages. If you are aware of it, then this video is of no use for you. But in case you were not aware, then you can use it in your code and you will realize that these two operators will keep your code much cleaner and will save you some effort. So that's it in this video. Try out at your end. Do comment us in case you have any query or you have any suggestion. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching.